Hi everybody! I wanted to do an Asian style <laughs> video today, but Mr. Rusty came in and he was really mad. So we had to take his entire body down. So I think I will just show you his face. Um, I'm going to try and still leave it in like a shorter, same style but shorter. Um, so what I've done so far is I've taken from the corner of his eye, okay, up to the, the corner of his lip. I shaved his entire chin, okay, and then up under, even with the, the lip line, I shaved up under here, basically. So you can kind of see from the back of the head around, um, even with the lip line. Okay, and then of course, corners of the eyes up top, but you want to leave this stuff up here. And I clipped this right here again. Okay, so I showed you what I clipped um, ahead of time. Now, what I want to do with this muzzle here is comb everything forward, pinch it with my fingers, and snip it off. The excess. Same thing on the other side. Comb everything forward pinch it with my fingers and snip it straight off. Alright? Now, I'm going to comb everything down. Everything down. And I don't want anything hanging down under his lip here. So, I'm going to take my shears straight back and just make it even with the lip. Same thing on this side. Shears straight back. even with the lip. Okay? Now, you've already got a good shape going on, but you want to comb everything straight up. Straight up. From there. Okay? And then I use my, my blenders to shape You don't want to take the top of the nose really short. You want to leave a little bit there to create that oval look. He's got so much hair on his head, it's kind of hard. And you can take your shears. If you've got a lot of excess, like he kind of does, you can take your shears. to get the basic shape. And then go back over it with your blenders just to completely neaten it up. Okay. <clears throat> now that I'm I'm fairly happy with the way that looks. He's not even had a bath yet. I'm just kind of trying to show you how to, to get the, the shape that I did. Um, I'm pretty happy with this muzzle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb everything forward. And then up, back here. Okay? And um, from what I've seen, I'm just going by what I've seen, they have a pretty straight, um, like from the side profile. So I am just going to kind of straight my shears across and take them off, take off the excess that's sticking out in front of the eyes. I'll do this a couple of times just so I make sure I get everything. Okay. Then, 
I'm going to comb everything here down. And I don't want anything to be hanging past the lip. Now you've got to make sure that their ears are short enough to do this. Um, you don't want to cut into an ear. So make sure you know where the ear flap is, the actual skin of the ear. His is right here. So I can take his that much shorter if I need to. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a veer and pull it forward just kind of like you would on a Bichon, okay? Make sure you still know where the lowest point of the ear is. And then I'm going to scissor it straight back. Okay? Now, the ear down, you can see what you've missed. Make sure you know where the ear flap is. If you're not very experienced with, with ears and ear flaps, then I suggest holding on to it. So that you know exactly where you can cut. Okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm using that lip as a guideline. fairly well set. Doesn't have to be perfect just yet. You, you can go back and neaten things up after you're done with the shaping. But you want to get kind of a good idea of where you're putting things before you start this part. Now, you want to fluff everything back up. up and out, fluffy as you can get it, okay? Now he's got a really short body, so I'm going to kind of take his head fairly short. If you have one that you're leaving the bell bottom legs on, or just a longer body in general, then you can leave him a nice big head. <clears throat> on this guy though, because his body is pretty short, I think I'm going to go ahead and take his head a good bit shorter than what it is right now, just so he doesn't look silly. I start at the ear, okay, work my way up and over, all right, I'm going to hop over here, just keep making your way around. Doesn't have to be perfect right now, we're just setting the, the basic shape. Okay. I'm going to take my comb, and I can guarantee there's a lot of stuff that hid under there that I missed. So I'm going to fluff everything back up and out. Okay. And start over again, just right at the same spot that I started at before. Be very careful of the ear flaps. You don't want to cut an ear. That'll be a really bad day for you if you do. They bleed really badly. I used to work for a vet and ear croppings are some of the bloodiest surgeries. You don't want to cut an ear. Okay. 
Now, like I said, he's not had a bath, so I'm not going to do too much more than this. I mean, it's not, not anywhere near perfect, but it gives you the idea of how I get it done. And um, as far as the back of the head goes, um, I just took it pretty much right behind the ears there, as far as the clipper work goes. And then I'll just take my shears. I don't even know if you can see that. I just take my shears and kind of blunt it off right along behind the head, kind of to match the front of the face. Whoop! Hold still. Fluff it up again. And then kind of round it in just like you did the front of the head. Okay. He's still dirty, but you can kind of see that that gives a nice little rounded shape. So, that's how I do it. Hope that helps.